Hello my friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you some tricks and tips using one of these for macro photography. So stay tuned. Hello my friends, welcome back. I am Leo, welcome to my channel once again. Like I said, today I'm going to be showing you some tricks, tips and hacks on what we can use a picture frame for. Now, I've been to my local Pounds, Poundland, pound shop, shop or dollar shops in the US and I use these a lot, different sizes, like I say, they're in a pound and they're cheap, but I'm going to show you some interesting things you can do with them and they'll make a massive difference in your photography. So, let's get started. Number one, simplest trick of all. When you're taking the picture frame apart, a lot of picture frames are left. We have this cardboard, well, card at the back that stands up. This is simply brilliant. Because all I do with these is I get that, get these little clips or paper clip or anything, drop it on the side, and there you go. I've got my something to hold my backgrounds straight away with. Ideal for water droplet photography. So that's trick number one. Tip and trick number two. I'm going to be using now the glass out of the picture frame. I think these are absolutely fantastic. As long as you make sure they're clean and no fingerprints on them, they're absolutely brilliant for getting reflections. If you don't like using milk, you can use these the way just as well. They're brilliant for flowers and other stuff like that. I'm going to use one in a minute with a dandelion clock just to show you how to do it, how get it to work. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get backgrounds. Just one of my backgrounds, I'm going to lay it flat, drop the glass on top. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a dandelion head. If I can pick one on. Like that. Then I'm just going to drop carefully a water droplet on the top. Come on. Ta -da. Very slowly, and I mean very slowly. Place it there. Now, this might not work the first time like that. So, what you do, wipe it off, start again. Boop. Come on, go off the end. There you go. I'm just going to place it down, as you can see. There you go. And that's my dandelion with the water drop on there. And what I'm going to do now is just turn it round where I can get forward to. Get my camera and I'm going to take some shots. I'm going to take my settings. Flash settings at one fourth the power, but I might have to change that in a minute. I go to 1, 1, 1, 160 per second, F9, ISO 100. If you're looking at this at the front here, this is this has been sent to me from Jambell to New Design. She sent me some new snoots and reflectors with a diffuser, which I'm finding brilliant. I'll put a link to Jambell's at the end. And now for this shot, I am going to do it handheld, but you can use a tripod. Probably better to use a tripod. Now. And I'm happy with that. Okay, you see number one, so simple, easy, but that works. You see number two, I'm going to put some pictures up at the end explaining some more different things you can do with dandelion clocks but number three might blow your brains and there is a number four but you'll have to wait until the very very end for that one the picture frames i've got a picture frame here what i've done here is i've got two pictures i've got one picture for two picture frames because i wanted two pieces of glass 
And what I've done is I've put the two pieces of glass together on the picture frame. And all I've done, see if I can find the one I've smashed up. All I've done here is, here's the one that I've, that I've used to make this one. <laughs> All I've done is, I've taken the, I've taken the top off it, so it's like that. And I slid the piece of glass out of it. And I've got some silicone sealer I use for bathroom, tiles or adhesive. And I've just put it in the cracks all the way around. All the way around it. And I place the glass in and carefully put that on the top. And then what you've got is your piece of glass sitting in the, in the perspex, which is brilliant. On the other side is where the wood goes or the, the card on the back. What I've done is I've taken the panel pins that was in there out and placed yet again bead of silicon all the way around it and push the glass on it then just put a piece of sellotape around it overnight to hold it how it is and then this has gave me this little miniature tank that's probably, I don't know 10 mil, probably thick but I'm going to show you how it works and it is brilliant <coughs> what I'm going to do First of all, is I'm going to get my water. I'm going to put my water in the tank. I've got a big, massive syringe. Simply because it's easy to get in there. Because you don't want it. I don't want it on the outside. Then all I'm going to do. Is fill the tank up with water. Not all the way up though. You'll probably guess what I'm going to do in a minute. So I'm going to try and make it a bit quicker. As you can see, you've got the bubbles inside now. There's two ways you can get rid of those. It's just bang it, and they'll come up. Or, if you've got a, th a fine stick, skewer, go across them, and just keep rubbing it across, because we don't want no bubbles in there. Not one bubble we don't. This way then, we get rid of all the little bubbles that we don't want. So that's sticking to the glass. Next thing, <coughs> get rid of the water. I've got some oil, normal cooking oil. Another syringe. Get to get carefully put it in. And squirt it in. Now, that one alone is a good picture. There, yeah, you ain't got to put a lot of oil in. You just want to fill it so you got enough for about say another 10, 10 mil. But because the tanks are thin, like I said, because the tanks are thin, you ain't putting so much fluid in, which is better, better. So that's finished. So that's our water and oil done. Now remember when I've done the Ikea photography with the flower, I'm going to be doing today Ikea photography with inks. And this, the reason I put the oil in, I'll tell you the reason I put the oil in. Now if you're doing photography, you put the ink in, it drops straight away. If you've got, you got no oil, should I say. But if you put oil in, what the ink does actually sits in the oil and goes through really slowly and then if you just get it focused right 
all of a sudden when it releases you get the nice plumes because it's going through steadier so that's why I've done that now next step is focusing ease to focus because it's only yet again like I say it's only that thick we can just drop the stick back in in a minute focus on the stick and you know you've got the perfect focus okay you can see a simple setup here now all I've got is the white perspex what I use the flashes sit in the back of there about I don't know 12 centimeters away to a foot should I say I've got my glass filled up with water and oil like you're seeing got my inks ready I put a little bit of tape like I said at the top and a cocktail stick what I've done is focused on the cocktail stick that means the focus should be perfect I've got my 750 d I've got my 100 mm lens on which isn't even set at one to one and a trigger remote ready so now it's a case of adding the oil and taking the pictures I'm going to quickly show you how I add my oil because I don't want to miss a lot of it got my syringe pull the syringe up then all I do is place my oil onto the then I place it onto the top just one drop at a time and you'll see it circulates balls, makes balls that's all you need to do and as I can see it's gone to the bottom and another one Boom. and another one Boom. and I'll drop one there as well because that's where I'm focused on and that one's just gone straight through now and made a nice thing so what I'm going to do is quickly get my camera set up so I can show you at the back right here's the settings on my camera I've sped it up a bit to there, I've gone to 1 250th of a second, F7, ISO 100 and all I'm waiting for now is the penny to drop, you see and all of a sudden the colours are going to drop and I'm going to start taking my shots so get ready There you go, it's coming out. You get some lovely effects, absolutely lovely. I hope you've all enjoyed that. It's been a nice change to something different today. I don't usually do ink and water or anything like that, but I thought I'd give it a try. Like I say, simple picture frame for a pound or two for two pounds to make brilliant stuff and ideas in photography there's more stuff than you can do with what I've just done it's just that I've just taken 20 odd minutes to try and do that little bit and I like to try and explain as I go along what I'm doing otherwise there's lots lots and lots and lots and lots of things you can, you can do with it like I say I'll put some pictures up at the end so you can have a look through some more ideas that I have been doing and used it for because I can't show them all I've also had the number four Fourth idea. I've put it up, so have a good look. Have a look at it. Tell me what you think it is. You'll probably guess what it is. Then, if you want to show you how to make it, leave a message in the comment box, and I'll, I'll I'll think about making a video on how I've done that one. I'd like to thank Jan Bell once again for sending me uh, my snoots and reflectors. Absolutely, and my diffusers. Absolutely brilliant. I can't thank you enough. Me and Stuart Wood are using these at the moment along with these ones, these flash bonnets absolutely brilliant, lightweight, so durable and they're absolutely brilliant so I'll take a look at Jan's website because she's absolutely fantastic like I said try, 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 that's all we can do I hope you, I'm there. I hope you all had a nice time I hope you're all looking after yourself I hope you're all safe thank you all for your birthday message and wishes it means a lot to me and now I'm off to have a birthday drink. So until next time, stay safe, happy snapping, and make sure you're subscribing. See you later.